only a true master can present such a list. The fight begins. Ugh. Prepare to fight me. Let's go. Huh? What? Who's there? You? You will fight? I'm gonna take you down to the grocery store and dump you out like an old bag. Oh yeah, you think you're so funny. Who we'll bring it on then, buddy? Let's go. Come on. Ugh. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Okay. Hurry up. Okay. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. This video is from the Retro Liberty Archives with new edits and live shots. Number 5 Mighty Final Fight. Final Fight on the NES? Yes, sirree, Bobby. Well, Kinda. Mighty Final Fight is a spin-off of Capcom's 1989's Final Fight on the arcade and the Super Nintendo. One of the first things you will notice in the game is the more childlike graphics. Hey Ricky, you're up next. I don't want to play this game. It looks like a kid's game. Now don't be fooled by these graphics. The game is as manly as the rest. Yeah, I pretty much go to the gym seven days a week for nothing. In the game, you can choose from either Guy, Cody, or Hagar, and they each have their own special abilities. The music in Mighty Final Fight is... Super Duper! or bored, which some beat-em-ups can really suffer from. The only gripe I really have with this game is that it's not a co-op game, which is a bummer. Wait, I can't play? No. But hey, Final Fight on the Super Nintendo is also only single player, and I still love that game. Number four. Battle Toads. I think I have some zits and pipples and rashes. I think the first thing we all think about when we think of this game is the difficulty, but let's put that aside for a minute. So this game has some of the best, most important parts of a beat-em-up, the actual beatings. I don't know why it is, but the way your fist, your foot, or your head gets big, along with the sound effects, just warms my sick, cynical heart. All of the levels here are well thought out and definitely a challenge. To be honest, I kinda miss the days when games were a little more difficult. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are hard games nowadays, but most of the time you just start right back off where you died. In my personal opinion, I don't find the hovercraft level that difficult as opposed to how most people feel about this level. But level 6? That stupid snake level where you have to jump back and forth over and over and over onto a snake going in all different directions? Yeah, me no likey. Number three. Double Dragon. What? Whoa, what, what, you, you didn't say part two? Well, to be honest, I was so close to putting part two on this list instead but I just couldn't. Part one holds more nostalgic value to me. The intro scene alone is almost enough to earn its spot. I actually like the basic story here. New York has been overrun by gangs and they kidnap your girlfriend. So you set out to get her back and kick the crap out of everything and everyone that stands in your way. The controls in the game are just okay. They are not great, but they do work well enough. You can learn different attacks by gaining hearts and you can also pick up a variety of weapons. So you have plenty to work with. Now, one of the main downfalls in this game is that it is only single player as opposed to the Sega Master System version. All right, game time. Dude, this is also single player. Hold on, Ricky. There is a two player fighter type style game built in, but it's nothing to brag about, but it will keep you busy for a good 15 minutes or so. Now for one of the best things about this game, the music. In my own personal opinion, but I think most of you will agree with me, some of the music in Double Dragon is the most memorable music ever on any system. Number two. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Now can I play? Yep! 
So almost two years after the Turtles made their first appearance on the NES, which I personally love, by the way. Why do people talk bad about Ninja Turtles Part 1 on the NES? It's a great game! They were brought back in an amazing beat-em-up style this time around. One of the first things you may notice is that you are now fighting all familiar licensed Turtles enemies, as opposed to the first game where you may recognize maybe just a handful. The design elements here keep the game interesting as many of the boss fights force you to learn attack patterns and objects in the environment can be used as weapons. This is technically an arcade clone, hence the name, and obviously the NES can't what? do what an arcade can, but the levels are well detailed, the colors are beautifully vibrant, and the character sprites are incredible for the platform. Did you know that every purchase got a $5 Pizza Hut coupon? That should have made this game number one in itself. But what game can beat out Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, as a beat-em-up? Is there a beat-em-up better than this game on the NES? Number one. River City Ransom. That's right, you better bet this game was gonna make number one. If you have ever played Technos Japan games on the NES, you will know that they are outstanding. And this beat em up is no different. The fighting in River City Ransom wins hands down 100%. You can beat up gangs on your journey to save your girlfriend. Geez, so shocking. Listen up though. But when you do, money will fall out. And when it does, you can pick up that money. Go eat, drink, take a sauna, and read books. Books? I hate books. Now don't you worry, my little buddy. These books only take about two seconds to read. And when you do, you acquire a new technique. And sweet Samus, there are tons to learn. Some of my personal favorites are Acro Circus, Grand Slam, Stone Hands, and my actual number one favorite is Dragon Feet, where you learn to kick like five times a second. This game is actually pretty funny. When you kill your enemies, they yell some pretty comical lines. <laughs> the replay value here is insanely high, as you can go back and read books you have not read yet, or even just try all the crazy food you didn't try the first time around playing the game. You are welcome to explore the open world, which not many beat-em-ups even to this day let you do. This is a game I actually go back to at least once a year, and I'm not kidding. Ricky and I just beat the whole game earlier this year together, and we couldn't get enough. We seriously had so much fun playing this game together, and we laughed hysterically <laughs> the whole way through. In all seriousness, you guys, if you haven't played this game, I don't just recommend, I'm telling you guys, you need to go get it. If you're a gamer, you owe it to yourself. Go pick up River City Ransom right now. What is your favorite beat-em-up game on the Nintendo Entertainment System? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, to make sure and check out SuperheroGameSquad.com, we have shirts over there, some really cool retro synth wave looking vibes t-shirts. Check them out if you want. If not, thank you for being here anyways. That is all we ask, and we thank you for being here. We'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great, wonderful day. Adios, muchachos. All right, game <laughs> Holy crap, your voice sounds like a bubble. <laughs> Holy crap. It's all right. I told you it was going out. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, game time. <laughs> all right, game time. <laughs> all right, game time. <laughs> it sounds so bad.